I know that it is very, very late on a Sunday evening, so I would like to say thank you to everyone in my audience for your patience and sticking around. I was going to let this go till tomorrow, but I thought, you know what, I'm not going to be able to sleep until I drop this video and show folks what has happened. Almost two years ago, this channel made a prediction, and it has now come true. Most people can't even remember what was going on two months ago, much less two years. Something has happened that when I said it, everybody said I was crazy. Everybody said, nah, that'll never happen. Well, it has happened, and we're going to cover it in this video. Now, we're going to get right to it. I'm just going to ask a quick question. All of you out there who are now or who have ever been in a relationship, what is the fundamental underpinning of success in a relationship, whether it's between a man and a woman or whether it's at a job or whether it's any two people? There has to be, for there to be a successful relationship, a certain level of trust. There can be no communication without it. You have to know where people are coming from. You don't always have to agree on where they're coming from, but you have to know basically what their plan is, what their mission is, how they see the world. That's why in this country we're kind of divided into two different camps. There's one group that sees the world one way, and the other group sees it entirely a different one. Well, guess what? How many of you have heard the news? Of course, everyone knows the major news that Donald Trump, convicted of 34 felonies, having to do with all sorts of nonsense that happened years and years and years ago. Everybody knows that news. But did you see the news last night? The big, major backtrack by Donald Trump? I was having a conversation with one of my patrons who decided that they had had enough of me and my never-Trumper status, and they were going to abandon the Patreon. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Issued the refund. Said thank you for your support. Um, that happens more often than you might think. I don't talk about it a lot. But the idea that I am a quote-unquote never-Trumper brought to mind a thought. How is a never-Trumper any different than an always and only Trumper? Wouldn't that be the same mental dysphoria? Someone who believed that one person could never possibly be in charge would also have the same mental defect that would say only one person could possibly ever be in charge or lead. Now, this person got the idea that I was a never-Trumper because I thought that the man on the left, Ron DeSantis, was a little bit more rational and would have made a better leader. I also said that about Tulsi Gabbard, and, you know, from to my mind, him being former military, Governor DeSantis, and Miss Gabbard as well, two people in the White House that have actually passed a PT test might actually be a great example to set for our kids. Because we could fix a lot of problems in this nation if we could get rid of the obesity epidemic and the laziness epidemic, and if we could show an example... You know, that to me would be a big deal. But you don't have to agree with me on that. But that's been always my stance. My stance hasn't changed. Now, some of you might ask, Florida Maquis, what does it have to do with Patreon? What if all of a sudden one day I showed up on my YouTube channel just ranting and raving like an emotional lunatic after two or three years of telling folks about Patreon and going to Patreon and learning how to control your mind and control your emotions. That would make me a bit of a hypocrite, wouldn't it? Asking you to join for only a dollar a month would still would be a, a bridge too far. People would say, Florida Maki, how could I listen to you rant and rave like a, a lunatic and then try to preach to people about controlling their emotions when you don't even do it? You see, you would be correct. You would be right. Now, this is the thumbnail of the most recent video that we did, 24 May, over Patreon. America's new survival morality. Right and wrong are now decided only by mammon. Money. That's it. Anything else doesn't matter. We are post-morality in this country. Nobody 
has the ability anymore to make a decision that is perhaps not the most profitable one to stand on principle. And that's why I showed this. Trump campaign raises record $50.5 million. Now, the morality I'm talking about isn't the conviction of the 34 felonies. That's not what I'm talking about. This is. It was only, what, about a year ago that Donald Trump was all over his own social media and all social media was talking about it, about his saying, I'm going to ban TikTok because it's an agent, an arm of, of, the, of the Chinese Communist Party, and we can't have that influence in our country. Well, lo and behold, after his conviction on 34 felonies, Trump joins TikTok and calls it an honor. As president, he once tried to ban the video sharing app. Now, here's my point on this. What if, what if Ron DeSantis had joined TikTok? Oh my goodness, can you imagine? A year ago, if a year ago, if Ron DeSantis had joined TikTok after coming out, and here's here's the evidence of it, 8 May, 8 May 2023. This is a year ago. Brooksville, Florida. Today, Governor DeSantis signed three bills to counteract the malign influence of the Chinese Communist Party in the state of Florida. Last year, Governor DeSantis called on the legislature to build upon efforts he led two years ago to combat corporate espionage and higher education subterfuge carried out by the CCP and its agents. With legislation signed today to limit Chinese purchases of agriculture land and land near military bases and critical infrastructure to, prote to protect, pay attention, digital data from Chinese spies and to root out Chinese influence in Florida's education system. Florida has once again taken the lead in protecting American interests from foreign threats and has provided a blueprint for other states to do the same. Now, here are the bullet points of the laws in Florida that are in place right now. Prevent Chinese entities or affiliates from buying farmland in Florida or land near our military bases and critical infrastructure. Bullet point two, stop sensitive data from being stored on servers that might be owned by entities even affiliated with the Chinese Communist Party. Prohibits the Chinese, bullet point three, prohibits the Chinese influence that we rooted out of higher education from working its way into our primary and secondary education institutions. And here's bullet point number four. Blocks access to dangerous applications such as TikTok on government and educational institution servers and devices, meaning that all of these devices all of these devices will not be able to see Donald Trump's TikTok profile. Sunday morning, Trump had amassed 1.1 million followers and 20 a million likes and 24 million views. Can somebody please explain to me how this is not hypocrisy at a level where you could no longer support this person. Chinese professors warn of culture of fear in Florida after... Good! Good! Chinese professors warn of culture of fear in Florida. That's outstanding. That was the goal. That's what we wanted after DeSantis' hiring restrictions. Stop CCP influence. And then Donald Trump joins TikTok. Chinese National, with lawful permanent residence in Florida, two Chinese uh, FIU students filed a lawsuit last month looking to block a law that bans state universities from agreements with people from a country of concern. China, Iran, Venezuela, Syria, all these. Okay, and that would have been three, you know, a year ago in 23, and back in 2022, that's what everybody was talking about. And if anybody would have come out and said, let's say Ron DeSantis had come out and said, you know, Donald Trump, TikTok is a platform that needs defending. Q 
Can you imagine? Can you imagine what would have happened? What would have happened to Ron DeSantis? Oh, he would have been, by the right, he would have been strung up and, I mean, any possible metaphor you want to use for having your life ended, they would have done it to him. But what is Donald Trump saying now? What is Donald Trump saying now? You ready for this? Quote, we will leave no front undefended. And this represents the continued outreach to a younger audience consuming pro-Trump and anti-Biden content. Trump spokesman Stephen Chung, Stephen Chung, said in a statement about the campaign's decision to join the platform. There's no better place than a UFC event to launch President Trump's TikTok where he received a hero's welcome and thousands of fans. Now, irony of all ironies, Democratic President Joe Biden signed legislation in April that could ban TikTok in the U.S. Even as his campaign joined in February and has tried to work with influencers. Can... You know, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. It would be it would be the grounds for any divorce. It would be the grounds, this level of backtracking, this level of deceit, this level of two-facedness, this level of double standard. There's no man and or woman that would be in their right mind that would tolerate this out of their partner. Because you would have then no basis for trust going forward. If somebody can just snap their fingers and just change their mind on a moment's notice like that, how in the world can you support them? Once again, let me say this clearly. If it had been Ron DeSantis who had come out and joined TikTok, oh, can you imagine? But it's Donald Trump, so nobody says anything. If this isn't the most clear-cut case of double standardism, I, I don't know what is. And if this man can change his mind this quickly about this, What else could he change his mind about if he gets the White House? What else could he change his mind about? And on that note, I defy you. I defy you to find one thing that Ron DeSantis has flip-flopped on in his entire term as governor. Everything he said he was going to do, he did. And he stands by it. And he's made a lot of enemies because of it. He's made a great deal of enemies. You see, that's how you know you have a moral stance. That's how you know you're on the right track. You know how you know? Because you'll make enemies. You'll make enemies. You don't play both sides of the fence. Like this guy has. So, I will leave it there. And I'll let that be. Now, very soon. Next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to have a brand new video up and it's going to be uh, one of the more controversial ones it's going to deal with military intelligence and it's going to deal with some of the activities that go on at the villages and that's all I can say here in public love to have you over there one dollar a month, that's it, even less even less than a dollar a month if you sign up for an entire year fully refundable, first 90 days No questions asked, Florida Maquis. What do I get for my dollar? You get access for 90 days with a full refund promise to hundreds of videos going back half a decade. Another video I said half century. I meant to say half a decade. Six years of videos, hundreds of them on all sorts of different topics. So, love to have you over there. Gloves off talking about things the way we used to be able to talk about them. God bless all of you. Pray for me. I need it for sure. I'll pray for you. Pray for each other. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.